about shoes today. So the biggest thing we found in drum corps is people show up with the wrong shoes. They don't know what shoes to get or the guy at finish line tells them these are a great pair of running shoes. I'm here to tell you when the nurses call me and say, Dr. Freeman, we've got an injury. First thing we do is look at what shoes they're in. Over the last five or six years, that number gets smaller and smaller as more people use the shoes on the list. Now we're to the point where last year the only people who had injuries were really the ones who were in the wrong shoes. So what are we looking for? We look for a solid heel counter, something that when you put your insoles, which everyone will get, into the shoe, there won't be a lot of movement so the insole can work to keep your shoe, your foot doing the right thing. We look for a good midfoot that's not really all that flexible. We want that nice midfoot stability because most of what we do is heel toe and that heel toe requires a lot of midfoot stability. We like a lot of uh, forefoot cushioning through here because we do a lot of jazz runs. With the jazz runs um, you need that, uh, that forefoot stability. One of the things that we do a lot different around here is that there's a lot of movement in our uh, choreography. So some places that you are, you don't need such a, a attention paid to the shoe that you use, but at, at this situation we've got a lot of attention paid to it just because it keeps our kids uninjured. So kids who show up and say, look, the guy at finish line told me this is a great running shoe. Uh, the guy at the finish line hasn't spent 8 or 12 hours out watching what you do every day, so that doesn't work for me. Without that midfoot stability, without that forefoot cushioning, without control of your rear foot, we're not going to get what we need out of an injury control picture. This thing too, when you start going medial and lateral as far as your movements going side to side, this whole upper is just going to move around. So this isn't a very good shoe for that. Um, I know a lot of guys say, well, it's the minimalist thing, so we've already crossed that bridge. For the last 40 years, we've been playing drum corps. For the last 40 years, we've been running, doing triathlons, all sorts of neat things. So the background that we're able to bring to the drum corps arena is pretty widely dispersed. We've been watching shoes since Nike first came out in the early 70s, watching the development of shoes. So what we want to do is put you in the best possible shoe available for you to get on the bus in March, April, and May and do the tri-fit, do those things that we do, and then get off in August and not have an energy in the meantime. Shoes are an important piece of equipment, just as important as your sticks or your mouthpiece or anything else. So when you show up with the wrong shoes, we'll be telling you, bad shoes. You can laugh about it, but the, but the worst time to try and go find shoes is somewhere when you're in downstate Illinois and there's no stores around that has the shoes you need. Really advise you to get them before tour. So those are the shoe lists. We, for the parents who are so enamored of money that they decided to tell me in no uncertain terms, my kid needs the most expensive shoes available, we added some additional shoes on the list this year for those people with money to burn but my advice has always been let's find some economical shoes let's get them two or three pairs that they can move around and they'll do much better than if they had one pair of really expensive shoes and couldn't afford a second pair that's about it on drum corps shoes the list is available if you see any shoes that are uh, interesting or intriguing the uh, Cross trainers and the trail shoes are the ones that we go after the most. They stand up to the early morning rains, the wet turf or grass. They stand up to a lot of abuse. Um, those cross trainers and trail shoes are out there. If you find a pair that you think I should look at, my email is tfreeman621 at gmail.com. Uh, I try to answer all those emails and I try to uh, find any new shoes that are out there that I may have missed along the way. Feel free to contact me with individual questions, and uh, here's to a great season. Talk to you later.